What's going on guys? It's Caleb here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to take you guys through three properties today. They're here in Central Florida and they're all on one or more acre lots. So without further ado, let's go check them out. All right guys, we are here at house number one. This house is located in Polk County. We are in Winter Haven, Florida. And this property is a brand new construction home. It was built this year. And you notice you have a nice long driveway. You are on a 1.02 acre lot. And this property is actually on the lake. It's over here on Lake Thomas, which I'll show you guys shortly. And um, this house has a little under 1800 square feet of interior space. It's a four bedroom, two full bath home has a monthly HOA of $5.42, which is very, very affordable. And your annual taxes are $2,342 and is currently on the market for $310,000. So let's go ahead and take a quick look. All right, so upon entry, notice you have tile flooring high ceilings, then also to my right hand side would be the dining room. You have your kitchen right in front of me, and then to the left would be bedroom number one. So let's go ahead and just start here. So look at bedroom number one. I would say it'd probably be best as an office. It didn't, it's not the biggest room in the world. Then we'll go right into the kitchen where you see you have granite countertops, you have white wood cabinets, stainless steel appliances. And then right across will be your pantry, which I'll go ahead and open up for you. There's a look at your pantry and then I'll keep that one closed because that's actually just, just the same, same thing right over there. So a decent amount of pantry space. And here's a look at your living room. Then right through those doors, we'll go right out to your enclosed lanai, which we'll get to here shortly. As we continue, here is your washer and dryer area. Then right past that, right into your two-car garage. And we'll go ahead and go right into bedroom number two. Then right next to it, we will find bedroom number three which are definitely um, decent sized rooms then we have our first full bath where we have double sinks love the tile that they did in the shower then you have the same granite countertops that match that matches the kitchen Then right across, we'll go ahead and go right into our master bedroom. Here's a look at the master bedroom size. And then you have two walk-in identical closets, one on the right, and then your next one will be on the left. Then as we go into the master bathroom, there is sink number one, your toilet, you have a nice walk-in shower with the same tile as you had in bathroom number one. So let's go ahead and go outside. I'll show you guys the property and then also the lake view that you have. Sure, it's a beautiful, beautiful morning here in Winter Haven. Here is your enclosed 
undercover lanai. See a guy out there fishing right now. Then also here's a look at your property. The water starts actually right there, so a lot of people just have that cleared and then they'll put a dock over there so they have easy access to the water and then obviously their boats and things like that. So I'll show you the side of the property as well. That's your neighbor house right there, but all this property right here is yours and then you see the stake right there. So you're a little over an acre here and you have the option to uh, put a nice dock out there, which I would recommend anybody to do, especially if you're on the lake. So that'll be it for this house and uh, we'll see you guys at the next one. All right, guys, we are at our next house. This property is located in Haines City and it is a three bedroom, two full bath home. It was built in 1997. It has a little over 1900 square feet. The annual taxes are $2,469 a year. This house was built by Cassidy Homes, has zero HOA, and it's currently on the market for $392,000, and it is on 4.97 acres. So this property is very, very beautiful. I'll actually insert the driveway which was actually right here so it is a dirt driveway but um, I'll insert the driveway footage right now So I'll go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and start the tour. Let's sort of start inside and then I'll give you guys a tour of the outside of the property. This property is a little dated. It, this house was built in 97, like I believe I mentioned earlier, but the layout is actually really good. This is my favorite property of the three that we have that we are touring today. So let's go ahead, take a look. I love it because it's very secluded, but yet close to a lot of, a lot of the areas that people want to be. So you have wood floors throughout. And this would be your family room as you walk in. And then to the left will be our master bedroom. Again, this bedroom is, size is very, very nice. And then we have our walk-in closets. You got one on the right, and then you got another one on the left. And we'll go into the master bathroom where you have one sink, a stand-up shower, your toilet, and then your shower tub combo. And like I was saying by dated, like the bathrooms need to be updated and stuff like that. So just cosmetic stuff. And I love the big glass doors and windows. Then we have a, I believe they're using this with, as the dining room. Then as we continue, we'll go right into the kitchen. And I'm just going to go to the edge of this and turn around so you guys can see the exact size of the kitchen and the layout. You have tons of cabinets, dated appliances. Got a pretty nice island here. But you know, things like that can be updated pretty easy. And this would be your living room. 
which has carpet. I would say that would need to be replaced, but again, cosmetic stuff. Then as we go down, we'll go right into bedroom number two. And this bedroom is very, very small. So let me go ahead and open up the closets for you. So that was definitely one of the smaller bedrooms. Then right across, we'll go right into full bath number two. There's your sink, shower tub combo, toilet right there. Then right next to it will be bedroom number three, which will be our final bedroom. This one feels a little bit bigger than the last one that I was just in. Then as we continue, I believe this is, yep, this is where your washer and dryer hookups are. And as we continue, we'll go right into our oversized garage, which I absolutely love. Got a little workbench over there in the corner with your water heater. So we'll go ahead and continue. And we are headed to the pool right now. And then I'll show you guys also the outside of your property as well. All right. So this is definitely different. I haven't seen this kind of design, which I, I absolutely love it, but you can see you're fully enclosed, screened in your pool. So look at your pool. It's very, very spacious, very nice pool. Then your property goes further back that way, which we will actually walk over there. And then you look how it's completely undercover all the way down here. So the, the backyard, back of the house is completely undercover. And then this area is completely screened in as well. This is all your property as well. There's actually a fence over there that I'm gonna try to show you as the neighbor has horses and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and check out the grounds and uh, see if I can show you as much as I can. So we'll go ahead and go this way first. I'll show you this side of the house all this property and then maybe I can go back to here and show you this fence if you can see it but there's a fence actually right there and then that's where the horses are then all of this is your property so you got a lot of uh, privacy out here if you're somebody that's looking to not be so close to people which I'm actually that person so I completely understand so let's go ahead and walk this area over here so look at your pool pumps all that good stuff and then also here's a look at your neighbor's property as well and this fence actually right here as you can see it's like a barbed wire fence that's on the other side as well I just couldn't get too close on that side but uh, there's a look at the neighboring property and uh, he has horses and stuff as well. So we'll go a little bit further down. Then you have a nice undercover place. I think he might have put a boat here, the previous owner, or maybe a travel trailer or something like that. But then he also has trails going through, which I'm not going to walk all the way through those. But um, your property goes also further back as well. So um, obviously I'm not gonna go back into the sticks, but uh, you guys get the idea. Then you also have a shed right there as well. So yep, there's some more trails going through there. And uh, that will be it for this tour guys. Hope you enjoyed it. This was definitely my favorite property 
on the list of homes that we are touring in this video. So I will uh, see you guys at the next house. All right, guys, we're at our third and final property. This property is in East Orlando. As you can see, it has a nice long driveway. This property is a distressed property. I believe it's a foreclosure. Um, it's a three bedroom, two full bath home. It's a little under 1400 square or little, it's a little under 1500 square feet, excuse me. There's your detached garage. It's, had, it's got a brand new roof, new AC system. It's been completely redone. It's got a nice size yard and then also backyard. This property is on 1.70 acres and the annual taxes are $2,346 a year. And the current asking price is $325,000. So let's go ahead, take a quick look at this house. As we enter, I notice they put new laminate flooring in, got new paint, and then looks like you got a fireplace. And then it goes right into your kitchen, and I believe right in front would be probably a dining room area. So here's a look at your living room again. Then we'll go check out the kitchen that has just has been completely redone. It's got some nice cabinets, got granite countertops, stainless steel appliances. This home was built in 1940, so it definitely has a funky layout, I would say. So let's just go ahead and take a quick peek at this one. So here's bedroom number one, pretty small room. Then here is full bath number one. And this will be our master bedroom, there's a look at your little closet, and then our attached master bath, and if you guys can see that's a stand up shower, but yeah this definitely has a very, very weird layout. Then this would be bedroom number three. Then you have an additional space back here, which probably uses as a closet, I would, I would think. So anyways, let's go ahead and take you guys outside and uh, I'll show you the show you the uh, the outside of the property and then also the detached garage. Please excuse the noise guys, we're actually just right off of a main road right there, so probably hear some cars going by. Then you got a new AC system as well, which is right in front of us. And here's a look at the detached garage. It's definitely a nice size garage for sure. Let me take you to the backyard. Show you what's going on back here. Just needs clearly some landscaping to be done. It's got a good amount of space, but yeah, clean it up a bit, make it look better. It would definitely fit the house a lot better, but all right, guys, um, I believe that will be it for this tour. All right, guys, that will be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you found it helpful, please smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss another video. And also leave a comment. Let me know your opinion about some of these homes. We are in a crazy real estate market right now, as I'm sure a lot of you guys know that. So inventory is very low. So I'm doing my very best to show you guys properties that I feel have excellent value. So. That will be it for today's video and we'll see you guys in the next one.